Hello and welcome back to Nine Honey's Everyday Kitchen. I am Jane DeGraff and today is spinach pie day or spanakopita day. And I'm really excited about today's recipe because I grew up eating a lot of spinach pie. And I love what I'm doing today because it's taking the typical spinach pie recipe and making it a little bit easier to make on a wheat night and a little bit healthier because there's slightly less pastry in it. So come with me. What I have in my pan cooking down nicely already here is one onion and I've cooked it down until it's lovely and soft and sweet and translucent and over here I have my spinach. I'm actually using silver beet today which is interchangeable with spinach and I like to use it because it's a little bit hardier and tougher than spinach but you can use spinach or kale it's entirely up to you and all I've done is taken the leaves and taken the rib out of the center of the leaf so that what I'm left with is the nice soft green bits like that. Isn't that beautiful? Then I've shredded it up until it looks like this and that is going to go into my pan with my onions to cook down a little bit. So we're going to turn the heat down nice and low because all we really want to do here is sort of wilt the spinach down a little bit because this will go into the oven and cook some more. So you don't want to make it soft and stewy. What you want is to just cook it down slightly and don't worry it cooks down so it might look like a lot in the pan but it will cook down. So there we go. Now what I'm going to do is turn the heat off and let the residual heat in the pan just cook that spinach a little tiny bit while I make the rest of our pie filling. So over here I have four eggs and I'm just going to break those up a little bit, give them a bit of a whisk. Oh yeah, now the egg and the cheese is going to hold all our spinach together in the pan. So give that a nice whisk and then to that I'm going to add one cup of creamy ricotta. So in that goes, excellent. I'm going to add a big shake of crumbled up feta because I like the saltiness. So in that goes, give that a bit of a mix around. I also like to put in some tasty cheese into mine because I like some of the cheesy ooey gooeyness that it provides. So in that goes. And then I like to add a herb. Now my favourite herb for this is some fresh mint but you can put in oregano or anything you like. Pop that all in. I put in lots because I like lots of herbs in mine. So we'll give that a good stir through. And then I'm going to add my spices. Now today I'm using chilli flakes and garlic powder because that's what I like but again that is entirely up to you. You can go with just salt and pepper or you can put in some cinnamon or some nutmeg, whatever you like. So we'll give that a nice mix through. Look at that. Alright and now we're going to stir this through our hot pan with our spinach in it. So here we go. Pour that all in. Just going to gently stir that. Over here I have some phyllo pastry that's just been resting off to one side under a damp tea towel. This will stop it drying out while you're doing everything else. And here I have some melted butter. Now you can do this with oil as well, it's entirely up to you but I'm using butter today. And all I'm going to do is brush the top of my pastry with some butter because this will help it crisp and brown while it's in the oven. So we can get some butter all over that. There we go. And now we're going to grab a couple of these sheets. I'm going to go with three. And we're just going to make a blanket over the top of our pie. But we're going to make it a very folded sort of blanket and tuck it into the edges because the more folds we get in this pastry the more beautifully brown crispy bits we are going to have. So there we go that's the first one. Now I'm just going to repeat with my pastry until I've blanketed the top of our pie. So a bit more butter on the next sheets of pastry. Just look at that, it's like, like putting the pie to bed, like putting the spinach pie to bed, tuck it all in, onto the last of our pastry, grab our last bits of pastry and I'm going to put this one right in the middle, 
with some lovely folds. There we go. I've covered every bit of our pie. Doesn't that look beautiful? Now, all I need to do is take this, pop it into a 180 degree oven for about 20 minutes or until the pastry is looking golden and flaky and ready to come out. In the meantime, the middle of our pie will have set and steamed and cooked beautifully and our pie will be ready. I will be right back. Okay, here we go. That is our 20 minutes in the oven for the spinach pie in a pan. How beautiful does that look? It's gone all flaky and golden on top. The only thing that is left to do now is serve it up. So, fingers crossed I can get a nice piece out of my pie. I find the best way to do this is just with a spoon. Don't be precious. Cut the edge. Yep. Oh, it smells so good. You can smell the garlic powder and the mint in there. Oh yes, here we go. Scoop it up. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. There it is. Spinach pie in a pan. Look at that, it's so beautiful and golden on top. I'm just gonna grab a fork. Oh, you can see all the cheesy, eggy mixtures cooked right through. The spinach has wilted down beautifully. Chef's right, it's gotta have a taste. Okay, thank you so much for joining me for Nine Honey's Everyday Kitchen. I really hope you try this Cheats spinach pie in a pan and I will see you next time. Mmm.